If they say something interesting, and it could be nine years from now. You'll right. remember it? Yeah, I'll remember it. If, if, as I'm writing, if it's apropos, it'll pop up. Psst. Quentin Tarantino is an American film director, screenwriter, producer, author, and actor. Non-linear plots, dark humor, stylized violence, prolonged dialogue, ensemble cast, connections to popular culture, alternative history, and neo-noir are all trademarks of his films. Tarantino's films have a cult following as well as critical and commercial success. He's won two Academy Awards, two BAFTA Awards, four Golden Globe Awards, and the Palme d'Or, as well as being nominated for an Emmy and five Grammy Awards. He was named to the annual Time 100 list of the world's most influential people in 2005. He's been dubbed the single most influential director of his generation by filmmaker and historian Peter Bogdanovich. Tarantino was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in December 2015 for his services to the film industry. to have the situation to do that. But the idea of putting your heart and soul into a piece of writing, and then when you're done, you're done? That's, that's amazing. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Quentin Jerome Tarantino, but is also known as QT. He was born March 27, 1963 in Knoxville, Tennessee, making him age 58 at the time of this production. He stands 185 centimeters or six feet tall. Tarantino was a fan of the early eras of Marvel Comics during his childhood, notably those written by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. He's an admitted fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Quentin Tarantino once said that he liked collecting and playing board games. His collection includes The Dukes of Hazzard and Dawn of the Dead. Tarantino enjoys Australian cinema as well. Tarantino professed his admiration for Australian 1970s and 1980s cinema, also known as Ozploitation, at the Australian premiere of Kill Bill Vol. 1 in 2003. Tarantino dated Margaret Cho and Kathy Griffin in the early 1990s. He dated actress Mira Sorvino from 1995 to 1998. He was her date at the 68th Academy Awards, where she received the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress. They separated in March 1998, with Sorvino stating, they still love each other very much, but have reached a mutual decision to go their separate ways. Tarantino had a romantic relationship with filmmaker Sofia Coppola from 2003 to 2005. Since their breakup, the two have remained friends. Tarantino got engaged to Israeli singer Daniela Pick, daughter of musician Svika Pick, on June 30, 2017. They met in 2009 when Tarantino was in Israel to promote Inglorious Bastards. They married in their Beverly Hills home on November 28, 2018, in a Reformed Jewish ceremony. The couple revealed they were expecting their first child on August 21, 2019. Their son Leo, named after his wife's maternal grandfather, was born in Israel on February 22, 2020. When it comes to him, and he's just the most charming human being I've ever met in my life. And so it's like I, half the time I look at him and I'm just laughing because he's so funny. Tarantino is the only child of Connie McHugh and Tony Tarantino, an ambitious actor who left the family before his son was born. His father's of Italian ancestry, while his mother is Cherokee Irish. He was named after Quint Asper, a character played by Burt Reynolds in the CBS series Gunsmoke. During a trip to Los Angeles where Tony was a law student and would-be entertainer, Tarantino's mother met his father. Connie Tarantino relocated to Knoxville, Tennessee with her parents after a brief marriage and divorce in Los Angeles. Tarantino and his mother moved back to LA in 1966. Soon after arriving in Los Angeles, Tarantino's mother married musician Curtis Zastapol and the family relocated to Torrance, a city in the L.A. County South Bay area. Tarantino's passion for movies was supported by Zastapol, who accompanied him to countless movie screenings. Tarantino's mother permitted him to watch adult films like Carnal Knowledge 1971 and Deliverance 1972. Tarantino was taken to live with his grandparents in Tennessee when his mother divorced Zastapol in 1973 and was misdiagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. 
He only stayed there for about a year before going to California. Tarantino wrote one of his early works, Captain Peach Fuzz and the Anchovy Bandit, a screenplay based on Hal Needham's 1977 film Smokey and the Bandit starring Burt Reynolds when he was 14 years old. When he was 15, he worked as an usher at the Pussycat Theater, an adult movie theater in Torrance. Tarantino afterward went to the James Best Theater Company for acting lessons, where he met some of his future partners. Tarantino met Craig Hammond, with whom he would work to make his debut picture in 1987 while at James Best. Lawrence Bender pushed Tarantino to write a screenplay after they met at a Hollywood party. His first screenplay, which he described as a pure 70s exploitation action movie, was never published and quickly abandoned. Tarantino's first film, My Best Friend's Birthday, was co-written and directed by him in 1987. It was never finished, but the screenplay for True Romance was based on it. Tarantino's first Hollywood employment was as a production assistant on Dolph Lundgren's exercise video, Maximum Potential, in 1986 alongside Roger Avery. Robert Kurtzman hired Tarantino to write the script for From Dusk Till Dawn in the early 1990s, which was his first paid writing job. Tarantino's neo-noir crime thriller Reservoir Dogs, which he wrote, directed, and starred as Mr. Brown, premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in January 1992. It was an instant success, with critics praising the film. Following the success of Reservoir Dogs, Tarantino was approached by Hollywood and offered a number of projects, including Speed, 1994, and Men in Black, 1997. But he declined and went to Amsterdam to work on his Pulp Fiction script. In 1994, Tarantino wrote, directed, and starred in the black comedy crime movie Pulp Fiction, which maintained his aestheticization of violence and nonlinear plots. Tarantino and Roger Avery, who contributed to the story, shared the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. Tarantino also won the Palme d'Or at the 1994 Cannes Film Festival for the film, with friends and fellow auteurs Alexander Rockwell, Robert Rodriguez, and Alison Anders, Tarantino helmed one-fourth of the anthology Four Rooms, 1995. In the United States, the picture premiered on December 25th to lukewarm reviews. From Dusk Till Dawn, 1996, Tarantino's next film was a vampire crime thriller that he scripted and co-starred in with George Clooney. The film performed admirably in theaters. Tarantino had intended to begin work on Inglorious Bastards, as the film was tentatively titled, but he decided to postpone it in order to write and direct Kill Bill, a highly stylized revenge film. Volume 1 came out in late 2003, and Volume 2 came out in 2004. Tarantino's film Inglorious Bastards premiered August 21, 2009 to rave reviews and went on to become the highest grossing film in the world. It went on to become Tarantino's highest grossing film until being surpassed three years later by Django Unchained. His most recent film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, had its world premiere at the 2019 Cannes Film Festival where it was competing for the Palme d'Or. It got strong reviews during the festival and garnered a seven-minute standing ovation. So that was that was his last acting. Not only that, the night he died, what he was doing before he passed on is he was running lines. For his standard directing, producing, and writing services, on his own films, Tarantino usually obtains $20 million in advance. He also owns a sizable back-end share of his film's income, which can amount to $30 to $40 million per film in some cases. Quentin Tarantino's net worth is $120 million. Quentin Tarantino divides his time between his Hollywood Hills mansion and his New York City private luxury condo. Tarantino's residence in the Hollywood Hills spans 8,733 square feet. Tarantino's estate is set on a private stretch of land, sitting nicely on a 1.23-acre lot. His house was built in 1986. In 1996, Quentin Tarantino paid roughly $3 million for his opulent home, Tarantino also has a fully operational historic movie theater in Los Angeles. The property, which is located at 7165 Beverly Boulevard in LA, has housed a variety of businesses under numerous names over the years. The cars you'll find in Tarantino's garage include a 1964 Chevy Malibu, a Mercedes-Benz S500,
1991 Nissan Fair Lady Z. Nineteen seventy two Ford Mustang Grande. And a nineteen ninety seven Chevrolet C twenty five hundred.